Hey viewers, how's it going? Another equipment autopsy. Um, while I was away on vacation for a little while, I uh, purchased this fine piece of equipment. I've never had one. It's really a really nice piece of equipment, and uh, like to share that excitement with you guys. So it's a Dejure model 750. If any of you know what this is before opening it up, that's great. Then you know what should be inside. And no, it is not a sewing machine. It's much, much cooler than that. All I'm going to tell you before opening it, it was made in 1955. That is a film projector. A really cool looking film projector. I mean look at this thing. This is all this is this is all cast aluminum, I believe. It's definitely not plastic. But it's just beautiful. Blower intake. I mean, look at the look at the detail on this thing. It's just beautiful. You got your light down in there. I've had this running. It, everything works. The light still works. The motor works. Um, it needed new oil. It needed to be completely re-oiled. Everything was stuck. It probably hasn't been run in God knows how many years. But uh, I've managed to get it going, and it actually works pretty damn good now. Um, so you got your on, you got your on off, you got your lamp, forward reverse, and your speed switch. And this here is—I uh, don't know if you can see that. It's what angles it up and down. Now what I find really neat about this I do need I do need to build a new cord. This cord is completely completely destroyed. I did have this working before so the cord suddenly went boom. Yeah not good fortunately it just kinda of scared me rather than actually do any damage to anything but what's cool about this is the this literature in this is basically spotless I mean, here's your book I mean look look at this It's it's spotless. It's like it was just built today. Even even the uh, other equipment it sells. I mean, look at this. This is this is an awesome condition. I mean, you don't see thing, you don't see advertisements in magazines looking like this anymore. This is definitely period material. So it looks like there were two models of this: the 750 and the 1000. They look very similar except for the base there. And the one I've got is a 750. So which means it's it's 750 watt. The other one is a thousand watt. So it's a little bit brighter. You could probably have it a little farther away from a wall or a screen and have a larger bright image. But 750 watts is still pretty damn bright. Most of the time 
I see projectors with like, you know, like 150 watt, 300 watt, sometimes 500 watt. But a 750 watt, that's that's pretty freaking bright. And a thousand watt, that's just crazy. But uh, yeah, that's this literature is in great shape. And it even comes with uh, even comes with a bottle of oil. The uh, there it is. I just need to glue that back on for authenticity. And this is the oil I used to relubricate it. So um, what I will do is I I will show you inside of each section here as best I can and just show you how the mechanism is all put together and everything and uh, after that I will just try to rig up a cord which I should be able to do with alligator clips fairly easily and uh, just uh, run it for you guys. I've taken most of the screws out of the side panels this here, that, that one there and I've taken the bottom off it so I guess I'll start there So you've got your main switches here, your your on off, your lamp, and your forward and reverse. You've got your um, shit, your uh, rheostat, I think it was. So that that controls your motor speed, and under here is just the knob for your your angle adjustment. There's nothing but a threaded rod. And up top, I know this is in the front here. So you got some gears, you got some chains. There's your chain to your top arm and the one to the bottom. If I spin it around, there's your fan, your cooling fan, and there's your your lamp. 120 volts, 750 watts. And here you go. It's quite the lamp. socket down there okay removed a few more screws so we got the casing here for the light that comes out got a reflector in there and there's your here's your first lens and if I take this screw out you'll see the get to see the shutter in behind all that. So you say there's your first lens. And there's your belt. And there's your shutter. So this got three arms on it and this is what this is what goes between the film and the light and it gives you your frame rate. And your motor's down in there. Which is right there. It's a, it's a brush motor. Top brush, bottom brush. So now I will uh, turn this thing on.
even though the plug's bad, I'm going to just use alligator clips. I'll turn it on and just show you everything while operating. Hopefully without blowing something up. All right, so we'll set this all the way down. So there's the absolute lowest speed. Very careful here. Quite a bit going on in there. Lots of gears, cogs, chain drives. Kind of neat. Now I'll speed this up a bit. There's top speed, but that's going a little faster than it normally would because the uh, they don't have the blower on. So it'd probably be going something like probably something about like that. I mean, that's going way too fast now to see the shutter. And of course, there's uh, you've got your reverse, so that'll allow you to uh, wind this back up. And I think, uh, which one's that? So both of these are actually going to synchronize and geared for this exact same rotation. I put some of the components back together for the light. And there you go. Now I don't know if the camera is catching that shutter if I slow it down more. I don't know if the camera's catching that or not. That's as slow as I can make it go. But 750 watts is quite a bit. It's quite strong. And that generates a lot of heat. thing is you might be able to see 
the little teeth right in here that actually grabs the film and pulls it through. Well, that's pretty much it for this uh, very unique and cool film projector. Subscribe, hit that like button, and thanks for watching everybody.